Hi, welcome to this video on user management in Biggin. As an administrator, you might have questions on how to add more users to your Biggin account, how to manage your user subscription, and how to assign roles and profiles to users. Before we address these questions, let's understand who the users are in Biggin. To put it simply, a user is someone with access to a Biggin account who can create and manage records, send emails, log calls, and perform other tasks based on the permissions set for each user. In this video, I will be taking you through the following topics that will help you to get started. Roles, Profiles, Adding a user to your account, How to change the super admin for your Biggin account, Deactivating or deleting a user, and Managing your subscription. Let's take the case of Alice, a sales manager at a travel agency, who has signed up for Biggin and now wants to add her sales reps, Bob and Brenda, as users in the Biggin account. Before adding Bob and Brenda as users, Alice must first create a role and a profile for them. A CRM like Biggin is used by businesses to store crucial information about customers and their deals. So, it is very important to control data visibility across the organization that uses Biggin. For instance, a sales manager might not want the data that they own in Biggin to be accessed by the representatives that report to them. Similarly, the representatives themselves do not want their data to be accessed by other representatives. You can achieve this hierarchy-based data visibility using roles in Biggin. Now, let's create a role for Bob and Brenda. Go to Settings, and under Users and Control, click on the Roles tab. By default, CEO and Manager roles are already created for every account. These default roles can be edited to suit your organization's hierarchy. The sales reps at the travel agency report to their manager, and these reps also need to be able to access each other's data. Click Create a new role and enter the role name as Sales Rep. Select Manager in the Reports to field. And finally, select the checkbox that says Let users in this role see each other's data. Save the details. And that is how you can build the role hierarchy to define data access for the various users in your account. Here, the users in a higher role can access data owned by the users in the lower roles. But the users in the lower roles cannot access the data belonging to users in the higher roles. Next, let's go to Profiles. Profiles basically help you define the permissions for users to access features in your Biggin account. For instance, Alice needs to perform managerial activities like importing and exporting data, creating workflows, etc., whereas Bob and Brenda, as sales reps, will not need to access these activities. They will require permissions to create deals, make calls, send emails, and other sales focused tasks. We need to create a profile that is suitable that gives them access to the features that they need. Go to Settings, and under Users and Control, click on the Profiles tab. Biggin provides two default profiles. The Administrator profile has all of the permissions enabled, and the Standard profile has all of the permissions enabled except for administrative permissions. Neither of these profiles can be edited. However, you can clone these profiles to create customized profiles that accommodate the permissions required by each user. Since Alice signed up for the Biggin account, she is assigned the administrator profile by default. So let's create a profile for Bob and Brenda by cloning the standard profile. Click the More icon here and select the Clone option. Enter the profile name as Sales Reps and save the details. The agency wants the sales reps to have access to create and edit records, but they don't want to provide access to delete any records. 
Go to the Basic Permissions section and disable the Delete Record option for each module. Save these details, and now we have a sales rep profile that can be assigned to Bob and Brenda when we add them to the Spigen account. To summarize, roles in Biggin let you define data visibility, whereas profiles help you define what actions can be performed by a user on the data. Now that we have a role and a profile created for sales reps, we can go ahead and add Bob and Brenda as users. Go to Settings, and under Users and Control, click the New User button. Just add their name, the email address to which the email invite needs to be sent, and finally, select the role and the profile for this user. An invitation email with a link to join this Biggin account will be sent to the email addresses that you entered. Please ask the invited users to keep an eye on their spam filter as well, in case the email ends up there. And if the user does not accept the invite request within seven days, you will need to re-invite them as the invitation link expires after seven days. You can take a look at the invited, inactive, or deleted users from this page. For instance, the users that we just added are in the Invited Users section. The users who have been deleted from your account will appear under Deleted Users. The Super Admin is the master administrator for a Biggin organization. All of the communications related to a Biggin account subscription will go to the Super Admin's email address. Only the Super Admin can delete a Biggin organization. An important point to remember here is that other users cannot deactivate or delete the super admin right away. The super admin who is to be deleted or deactivated must first transfer the super admin status to another administrator user, and only then can they be removed or deactivated. The super admin can do that by going to Settings, clicking Organization, and then clicking the Edit Organization icon. Here, you can transfer super admin status to another administrator user. Before we see how to deactivate or delete a user, we must first understand when a user can be deactivated and when a user must be deleted. For instance, take the case of Justin, a sales manager who is taking a long period of leave for about two months. In this period, Justin will not be using his Biggin account and his tasks will be managed by Alice. As an administrator, you can transfer ownership to Alice and deactivate Justin's account. Once you deactivate Justin's account, he will no longer be able to access the Biggin account, and access to Biggin using the deactivated email is prevented. You can reactivate Justin's account once he's back by simply clicking the Activate option now, if a user is no longer a part of your organization, then the super admin can delete this user. Before deleting a user, all of the records owned by that user should be transferred to another user. Once you delete a user, all of the integrations configured by that user will no longer be available. To delete a user, go to Users and Control, click the More icon here, and then select Delete. Please note that deactivating or deleting a user will not automatically delete the user license in your Biggin subscription. You can increase or decrease your user licenses using the Manage Subscriptions option. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching.